this video, we're going to learn how to log out of a single page application. If you've been following along in my other videos, we've gotten to this point where we have our, our single page app here and we've created a access token and we're storing that access token right here. We're calling it blog token. But if we use our logout, sure, it takes us to the login page. However, if I just type in home, I'm back in my application. I'm not actually logging out. And that's because we've turned our default Laravel installation with user logins and everything into a single page application. So we need to adjust our logout. So we destroy this blog token and tell our application to check for the blog token before allowing anyone to get to this slash home URL. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is add a logout function to our current user actions. So I'm just going to put it down here after the login. I'm going to say logout user. And in order to log out our user, we need to get rid of that blog token. We need to make sure that it doesn't exist. In order to get rid of the blog token, I'm going to use local storage dot remove item and then I'm just going to tell it blog token now for this tutorial I used the local storage and I called my token blog token you might have called it something else as you can see right here I'm saving the token and I called it blog token right here I want to remove the blog token so if you named it something else make sure that you remove item and then whatever the name of your token is so I'm just going to add a note here, remove token. And now, now that the token's been removed, I want to redirect the user to the login page. So to do that, I'm going to say window location replace, and then I'll do slash login. So we're going to get rid of the token, and then we're going to take the user to the login page. I'm going to command S to save. Now I need to tell my application to use this logout user action handler in the app. Right now, if I come down here, I have this logout method. So I want to change this. I'm going to I can go ahead and get rid of all this cuz we're not going to use the default Laravel logout. We want to tell it to use the action handler that we just created. So we can say this store dispatch and then current user slash logout user. And then I'm going to command S to save. I just want to double check and make sure that I did call that logout user. OK. So now when our user clicks the logout button up here, right here, we're saying at click logout. And that's our logout button right here. We wanted to run this method of logout. And the logout method is going to dispatch the current user logout user. So I'm going to save and let's come back over here, refresh our application. I'm going to bring up my Chrome developer tools. I'm using Option Command I to bring that up. And we can see we still have our blog token here. Let me log out and hopefully that blog token will go away. And there we go, we can see our blog token has been removed completely. Let's log back in and see if our blog token pops back up. Submit. And we have our blog token again. I'm just going to double check and say log out again. And our blog token's gone. Awesome. So now we're actually setting and removing our blog token. However, if I still go to home right now, it's going to take me inside my app because I'm not checking anywhere to make sure that there's a blog token in local storage. So now that we're able to set a token and remove a token, we want to tell our app, if there's no token, don't let anybody get to this slash home URL. So let's go back over here into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go to app container and then down here for created. Now, 
when this is created, this is where I want to check to make sure that there's an actual blog token before we can set any of these headers or dispatch user. Right now, we're just assuming that if you've gotten to this point, you have a token, but that might not be the case. So let's go ahead and check for a token. And in order to do that, I'm going to use an if statement. So if local storage dot has own own property and we want to say if it has its own property of blog underscore token so now we're checking to see if it has a property of blog token then you can run this else we want to tell it to kick you out of the app, take you back to the login page. And in order to do that, we can just, we could just say run this logout method. I'm going to just say window location dot replace. And I'm just going to tell it to take you back to the login. Since there's no token to get rid of or anything, that's why I opted not to use the logout. Uh, it wouldn't hurt anything, but I'm going to use this window location replace. So command S to save. As of right now, I don't have a blog token. So when I refresh, I'm hoping that it's going to kick me out of our app. So refresh, and there we go. It kicked me out. Let me see if I can log into home. Kicks me out again. But if you notice, there's a very slight blip where you can see the home page. I'm gonna press enter and maybe I'll slow it down so you can see it. So we see a real quick clip of the home. There's another step we can take to prevent that and that's to actually put it into our blade file. Um, if we come down here to views, so we're in our SPA blade and this is where we tell it to, to load our app.app-container. Um, we can add a little piece of JavaScript in here before we ever even get to our app, we can say, hey, when you load this page, see if there's a token in local storage. If there's no token in local storage, get them out of here. It won't even get to the point of loading our app container. So it should get rid of that little blip where you see the home page or the dashboard of your single page application. So let's go ahead and add that extra check right here to see if we have a token and if there's no token at all, we're actually gonna redirect right from this page as well. It's a little extra step. It's just kind of more of an annoyance. I don't like that you can see for a split second or anything what's on my home or in my dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it right, I'll put it underneath this where we import our app.js file. I'll put it right here. Um, we'll say, script okay and now we should just be able to grab this right here command C to copy and we'll come back over here and then we're saying if local storage has own property blog token so if it has a blog token I'm just going to add the exclamation point here. So I'm saying by adding the exclamation point, I'm saying give me the opposite of if it has the token. So if it does not have the token, we'll do window dot location dot replace. And we'll just take them to the root of our application, not even the login page, just just whatever the home page is. So I'll command S to save. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to refresh. And now if I go to home, it didn't blip. It didn't ever show you this, the slash home or, or our single page application before it even ever got to that. It took us right to the home page. So let's try that one more time. No blip, no nothing right to the home page. And that's what I wanted. Now there's one other thing I want to do in this video. I don't actually like to use the slash home. 
I did that originally because the home controller was already there and I was just kind of walking through the, the setup process. I actually want to change this from home to be app. So all of my routes and everything after this will be slash app and then we'll end up using view router so we can have a, a pound sign or hashtag and then it will be slash app dashboard or slash app user accounts or whatever we end up using. So let me go ahead and make that adjustment in my application. I'm going to pull the Visual Studio code back up. And the first place I'm going to do that is in my routes and then web.php. And right here I have the route slash home. So I want to change that to slash app. I'm actually going to change the home controller and I'm just going to call it the app controller. And then right here I can change this to app. Command S to save. Now I want to go get that home controller and make sure I rename it. So right here I have my home controller and that's in app, HTTP controllers, and then right here under home controller. I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it app controller. All right, so I've renamed my controller. Now I need to rename the class right here. And I can do app controller and then command S to save. So we should be good. Our route is going to hit this controller, which is what we want. Um, the only other thing that I need to do is make sure that when I log a user in, instead of telling it to go to slash home, I want to tell it to go to slash app. And that is in our current user Vuex store. So right here, I'm in my current user, which is in resources, JS, store, modules, current user. And I want to tell it right here when I log in a user, if we get our access token, and you can add all kinds of extra checks and stuff in here. I'm just keeping this super basic. I'm assuming I got an access token. You might want to say, if you didn't get an access token, display a message or take them somewhere else or lock them out. We're not going to go into all that for this. Uh, this is just a real basic login, log out. But let's change this window.location replace from home to app and then command S to save. Now I think that's everywhere. Let's go ahead and try and log in and hopefully it'll take us to slash app. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to click on my login and let's go we got our name and password all right it took me to slash app it's exactly what i wanted my blog token was set let me try and log out my blog token's gone let me see if i can go to slash app on my own it instantly kicked me out and just took me to the home page that's perfect that's exactly what i'm looking for so at this point, we're able to log into our app. We are able to log out of our app. We're destroying our token. We're getting rid of it completely. And we're blocking people from hitting our single page application before it ever even loads right here in our, our, our blade file um, with this. So we're checking if there's a token, allow them to pass through. If there's no token, take them right back to the home page. Don't even let them see what's behind this door. I think I'm going to wrap up that video for now. The next video is most likely going to be on view router and routes inside of a view single page application. So if you're interested in learning more about view and view routers, go ahead and subscribe, sign up for notifications. Um, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say in the likes and comments. And again, thanks for watching.